Hello everybody, my name is Lorenzo and welcome to AMJ Watches. Today we're going to be talking about one of AMJ's bestsellers, none other than the Tag Heuer Formula One. The Formula One was launched in 1986 by newly partnered Techniques de Avant Garde and Heuer to create one of today's most luxury watch brands, Tag Heuer. Heuer had always focused on mechanical watches, therefore in such a competitive market they were finding it extremely hard. Quartz watches impacted the watch industry in the 1970s and this did not help the brand in any way. The market became flooded with a more accurate, fashionable watch at a fraction of the price. The release of the Swatch watch in 1983 was of massive interest to the brand. It played a key role in their initial watchmaking. Tag acquired Heuer and started striving to match Swatch's success. They set about creating their very own unique Quartz watch. While they were not as cheap as Swatch, they took the fundamentals of utilising cheaper materials to create their own new model. Cheaper movements in cases, along with an array of different coloured designs, inspired by Swatch. These watches sold at around half the price of their previous seller, the Ortavia. The Formula One was a great success, and by the year 2000 they'd sold over 3 million units. But unfortunately, after such an amazing start, it later became discontinued. A few years later though, it was reintroduced, focusing on a higher end of the market. This little icon in most cases is the first step into the luxury high-end watch market. Firstly, we'd like to introduce you to one of AMJ's best sellers, the Formula One stainless steel quartz chronograph. Now this model is available in a few different dial colours, black, blue, as well as an array of special editions such as the Ayrton Senna, the Gulf and the Aston Martin. This watch has a satin finish, 43mm casing, 200m water resistancy, sapphire glass, branded case back, date window and a fully functioning quartz chronograph. What I love about this watch is its versatility. Now this watch is going to look great in a meeting, on a night out or even just going out for dinner. It's going to go well with your suit jacket, it's going to go well with your hoodie, jeans, trainers. It's so versatile it will go for any occasion. Just by looking at the watch you can see how subtle it is. It's got that black bezel, black dial, and the green and red of the Tag Heuer logo absolutely pops. Like I touched on before, it's got that fully functioning quartz chronograph. This can be engaged easily by just pressing the top right hand button. And again, to stop, you just press it again. To reset the chronograph, all you do is press the bottom right hand button. Very simple. With a recommended retail of only £1,100, with our 0% 48 months finance deal, this works out to £20.63 per month. What an absolute winner. Let's take a look at our next watch in the range, the Tag Heuer Formula One Calibre 5 Automatic. Now the Formula One Calibre 5 is a little less sporty and that touch more classy. I would call this more of a dress watch. Now again, this comes with the 43mm casing, a 200m water resistancy and a polished and satin finish. This has that magic anthracite dial. Now I say magic because in different shades of light that grey dial changes from light to dark. It's pretty special. As this watch is a Calibre 5 automatic, it comes with a 38 hour power reserve. This is what differentiates the quartz model and the automatic model. The quartz model obviously works off a of battery power, the automatic watch works off the power of your wrist and the winding of the main spring. Now this watch comes slightly more expensive with a recommended retail price of £1,400. Again, available on our 0% finance deals, 48 months would work out at £26.25. So now without further ado, we're going to talk about the Calibre 16 Formula 1, the daddy of the Formula 1 range. Now the Calibre 16 is my favourite of the Formula 1 range. This watch has the 44mm casing, many different versions such as the steel ceramic sunburst anthracite dial that this watch in front of me, it has a blue option, a black option, it has the sapphire glass, 200m water resistancy, but this calibre 16 has a 42 hour power reserve. As with all chronographs, the second hand is actually in the subdials, the left hand one to be exact. When engaging this chronograph, because it's fully automatic, the second hand sweeps, which is a unique selling point for all automatic watches. Again, slightly more expensive, this watch comes in with a recommended retail price of £2,550. Just like all the other watches on our website, 0% options are available with a 48 month price tag of £47.81. This watch again is an absolute no brainer. So let's recap and take a quick look at the watches that we had on show today. 
the Formula One Quartz Chronograph with a recommended retail of £1,100, the Formula One Calibre 5 with a recommended retail of £1,400, and the Formula One Calibre 16 with a recommended retail of £2,550. And like I touched on before, all these watches are available with 0% finance. If you have any questions regarding any of these watches, or would just like to ask any questions, please DM us now. Failing that, please click the link in the description so you can see the full Formula One range on our website, amjwatches.co.uk. If you've made it to the end of the video, please feel free to give us a thumbs up. Any comments or feedback, please leave below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.